Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Corliss, and today we are talking about how to keep your shrimp from getting into your filter socks and in your overflow. Um, those of you who like to keep shrimp, especially freshwater shrimp, they are extremely tiny, especially when they're breeding, and they can get lost very, very easily in your filtration. So I figure those of you who are breeding shrimp probably have encountered this problem already. So I just wanted to talk about it today. So I figured I'd give you a little walkthrough on what we just did to fix that problem. So as you guys can see, I did throw in several different types of shrimp in here. We even have some clams, we got some snails, we got some moss balls, little bonsai trees. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's little babies hanging out under the rocks. So, right there. So those things, I kept finding them in every single morning I'd come in and they were in the filter socks back here. So, I'm gonna show you what it looked like before. It's kinda of hard to tell. What we did as a replacement looks so nice that you can't even tell that something was changed. But any of you who have a Cobalt 18 gallon, the Sea View tank, um, check this out. So that's what it normally looks like. So it's great, awesome for your drain and overflow and all that great stuff, but the shrimp are getting in there. So I did make something just a little bit smaller, a little bit nicer, and they fit right in there. So you can't even tell at all. Now you can see over here the one that I just took off. And you can see the drain. And this is what I made. So I did design this in Fusion 360 and I did print this on our 3D printer. So I just figured I'd share that with you guys. Anyone who's had a little problem with their shrimp or anything and you're looking for something, there you go. And the water level didn't even rise at all. So. I could see that being a problem. This was just my first design. It's just the one and done solved. But I could see if I was gonna mass produce these, I would put a larger holes on the way to the top. So that way the drain never ever got clogged. So, or make the top row, row of holes just open. But look at that. We put some brine in here. And you can see the little brine shrimp floating around. There, the snail cruising. So, all right guys, that's my quick little update for today. That's the bonsai tank. Just wanted to show you a little bit what's going on. We are definitely uh, busy over here. It is the weekend, so it's our busiest time and we're doing lots of updates, lots of changing, setting up. So this tank was the discus tank and I just find it was, it was a little boring for me and I wanted to upgrade. So this is gonna become the sand waterfall. Since we changed this one over, to the saltwater reef, I never got to do my big freshwater waterfall. So that's what I'm gonna do in this tank. And we're gonna do a step down tank over here and put some of the glow touches in here. So these tanks are absolutely incredible. I just had to show you guys these things. They're the step down, cool looking. They're all in one tanks. And we have them available for you guys as well. And we're also doing some equipment maintenance, some improvements, trying to put some light underneath here. This Red Sea sump is absolutely dark, so we need a waterproof LED to put under here just to kind of keep it well lit so we can see when we're doing our maintenance. But it is a cool tank, that's the reefer. If you guys watched our video yesterday, you can see the 650, we did a little tour on the Peninsula tank. Uh, we do have two of those. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do. Hit that like button and you'll see more great videos like this, more tips and tricks to make things better and easier for you guys. So I know it can be tough and somebody else has already encountered that problem before you. So it's nice to ask your questions here and get some feedback, at least not from me, but from somebody else who will read your comment and questions. So as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Please stay tuned for more.